Yeah, um, it's uh, it's it's crazy uh, how many people have uh, came out already just to just get a, a ticket for BYU. Um, I've I've walked by there a couple times to to say hi and say thank you for for being out there. What's been your response when they've seen you come out there? What have they said to you? Have they were they surprised to see you? Um, they they were, um, but I mean we're students too, so we have to walk that way to get to class. Um, uh, but they chant, they're excited, uh, wishing us good luck. Um, uh, we get nothing but positive feedback, and uh, you know we tell them that that we're gonna need them on Saturday. And you guys are supposed to have a little more things. You're supposed to have, not supposed to be pizza delivered. No, how are you guys gonna do any more events with them at all? Or are you just gonna stay away from them? Uh, I don't know yet. We haven't discussed that. Um, I, I would like to, but um, uh, I, I don't know yet. This late in the season, you guys are tired, played almost your full schedule. How beneficial is, is this bye week going into the match on Saturday? Um, I think it's real, really beneficial. You know, some of us um, just have like little nicks and bruises, but we can play through them. But we can do a lot of studying on BYU, fix things that we didn't do last game, and you know, really just buy in to what the coaches are trying to tell us to do, and hopefully get the win. What were some of those things that you guys didn't do last time you played them that you're trying to do this time? Um, watching film, a little bit of film. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't finish well. Me in particular, we didn't finish well at the rim. Um, we didn't really defend well. You know, we didn't really. Um, help DJ as much as we should. Um, our defensive transition wasn't really there. You know, really just defensively, we didn't execute, and we're going to have to do a better job this time. Now, for last game against them, you, Malcolm, you took a lot of front upon yourself. Does that sort of give you an extra little punch, an extra little chip coming into this one to want to remedy what didn't go right for you last time? Um, definitely, you know, we every day in practice we work on um, finishing strong, and you know the past few games we've been trying to do that, and this game is a big one, so we're really going to try to do it in the game to get the win. Now, we're talking about that, that bye week issue. Does this may, has that made this game sort of an NFL feel for you, setting up on Monday, going through the week, seeing it build up? What do you think about an NFL type idea of this game? Um, this is a huge game. You know, everywhere I go, I just I just hear good luck or something from someone. Um, you know, we're not really trying to you know put too much pressure on ourselves, but we're gonna we're gonna play hard. BYU's gonna play hard. They always do, and it's just gonna be two tough Mountain West teams playing hard. Now you guys talked about looking at film. Uh, the past few games, Jim Burdett's still putting up his points, but he's been kind of struggling from the field. Have you guys seen anything new that you might be able to exploit? Um, I think the 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 key thing that we're gonna try and do is uh, this time is is keep fresh bodies on them. Um, you know, I, I it, it may not seem like it, but but he is a human. He has to get tired sometime. And um, I think if we have the ability to keep fresh bodies and um, uh, put a little bit more length on them, uh, like we did uh, the first game, and have, you know, have Billy. Um, have them shoot over the top, which you know is, is difficult. Um, I think that uh, that that might play to our benefit. Uh, so um, just just keeping fresh bodies and and, and length uh, to help um, you know tire them out and, and kind of slow them down. So you're talking about length, so you're obviously not really referring to yourself there. Who would you be guarding? Um, like uh, Emery, yeah. uh, most likely uh, catch shoot guy. You know, great great player. Um, a guy who could who can uh, really go off in any given moment. Um, that that probably be uh, you know my my first task is is guarding him. Um, but yeah. Would you consider Emory to be their most challenging non jimmer player on that team, or is there someone else that you guys think is right underneath? Uh, Davies and Emory. Um, uh, they're both very, very good players, and and both have um, you know the talent uh, to go off in any given moment or or, or to help um, uh, Jimmer when in need. Uh, so it's it's not just Jimmer, it's not just you know Emery, uh, and not even just uh, Dave, uh, Dave Davies. They they BYU is is a well put together team that uh, they all know their role and all play it to a T, uh, and and a team like that is very dangerous. 
obviously you guys all played early last week, but is there any concern about this early start coming up <coughs> in, in the morning time when you guys have had so many games in, at late at night? No, there, there's too there's too much excitement uh, to um, to to be worried about what time we're playing. It doesn't matter if we're playing morning, night, or or at, you know at midnight. You know we're 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 excited to play and can't wait. Now with BYU coming to our house, um, I know the show has some pretty crazy things planned. How much of an advantage does uh, will the show give you guys? I think they'll give us the. Full, the most advantage that we can get, you know, the show is probably, to me, the best student section I've seen in college basketball. And, you know, if we're not executing and they're just cheering, it gives us all types of energy. So I know they're hyped for this game, and I know it's going to help a lot. Anything else? Yeah, you guys have gone to the point where there's hardly anyone in the stand, to a point you walk past hundreds of students sitting in line. Tickets for this game are now going for hundreds of dollars. What do you think when you hear that sort of excitement? Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't even sound like reality. Um, if you would have asked my freshman year if it was going to be like this, um, I probably just would have laughed and, and, and been like, yeah, right, you know? But um, uh, to come as far as we have uh, as a program and as a team, uh, as a community and a, and a school, uh, it just goes to show that um, you know everybody is behind us. Um, you know we're playing for ourselves. We're playing for this city uh, and this school. And uh, you know it's a nationally televised game, and and, and the nation is going to get a chance to see what San Diego is all about. You're the hottest ticket in town. That's what they say. That's what they say. Um, uh, and we appreciate it. I mean, um, people hitting you up for tickets. Yep, I even had to turn some family members down for this game, <laughs> but um, it it is what it is. Uh, can't get caught up in the ticket game. Just just gotta get ready for BYU.